John Lees Burton, known as Jack, was born on the 4th of November 1894 at Milburn, Tarbolton, Ayrshire. His father, Thomas Burton, was a blacksmith who married Margaret Lees in 1891. Jack was one of six children and the family lived at the Smithy in Daly, Ayrshire. Jack was educated at Girvan Higher Grade School and passed from there to Glasgow University. He was in the second year of his arts course when war broke out and after training with the Officers Training Corps he was granted a commission in the Black Watch and went to the Western Front in December 1915. On the 30th of March 1916, while attending the funeral of fellow officer 2nd Lieutenant W. Johnston, Jack was wounded by shrapnel. His parents were notified by telegram and the battalion chaplain wrote to them giving further details. The wounds were not considered serious, a shrapnel bullet through one leg but without touching the bone and another in the shoulder which did not penetrate deeply and which the doctor took out before he left us. He was making a most capable and promising officer, full of pluck and always so bright that we all miss him very much indeed but at least we can all be thankful that his injuries are not worse. Jack recovered from these wounds and on the 11th of February 1917 he joined the 9th Battalion of the Black Watch on attachment. On the night of the 26th of April 1917, the 9th Black Watch took part in an attack on a position known as Cavalry Farm. The attack was not successful and by the 27th of April movement during the day was impossible and contact with several posts had been lost. Jack Burton was last seen at 3.30am on the 27th of April when he was attempting to consolidate his position. He had intended to return to battalion headquarters before dawn but in fact he was not seen again and it was decided that he had most likely lost his life due to the heavy machine gun fire which had been maintained throughout the night. This was the second tragedy to befall the Burton family as Jack's uncle Robert Burton had died on the 13th of March 1917 while serving with the South African Infantry. Jack has no known grave and is commemorated on the Arras Memorial. Many thanks are due to the Govern and District Great War Project who carried out much of the research into Jack's military life. They've done some great work commemorating the men from Govern who gave their lives in the Great War and we thoroughly recommend you check out their Facebook page, there's a link in the description below. Thank you for watching, please give this video a like or tell us what you thought in the comments below and do please subscribe if you'd like to see more.